I think of myself as a um, non-reductionist materialist. That is, I think it's sort of like architecture. You, you can't replace talk about arches and this style, Georgian versus that style, with talk about bricks and boards and mortar. You can't replace one with the other. But you can certainly map this arch to that set of bricks and so on. And, as it, and it goes in both directions. You can't build a skyscraper out of bricks. There are properties of the materials, the, the elements, constituent elements, that influence the function. And I think the same is going to be true with the mind and brain. That is, we won't replace talk of representations, of goals, beliefs, desires, all those kinds of things. We'll replace those with talks of neurons and ion flows and all that sort of thing. But what we will be able to do is understand the relation between the two. That is, I am a materialist. In terms of reductionism, I, I don't think it's, it's even a plausible hypothesis that we'll, we'll be able to replace talk of the mind with just talk of the brain.